Good morning, everybody. Um, so let's start with prayer. Yeah, Lord God, thank you for this time we have to share together on a Monday morning to rest in and be inspired by your love and your word. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you come and anoint each one of us this morning as we create in response to the things that you have to show us. Yeah, thank you, Lord Jesus. So this morning, the theme I've been given is God is in it with us. And the verses uh, are from John 20, verses 19 to 22. So this is the account where Jesus appears to his disciples and it happens just after Mary has found the empty tomb and seen Jesus. So I'll read that now. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. And again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. When I was reading this, I, I could imagine the fear and the uncertainty that the disciples must have been feeling as they were, as they were locked in that room. Um, so Jesus had been tried and crucified. Seemingly, it was the end of everything that they'd hoped for. And yet they had that small amount of hope from Mary having found the empty tomb and having met with Jesus. But the whole of the future was uncertain. And in some ways, um, our future just now is a bit uncertain. We're, many of us, isolated in our rooms, not really sure quite how we're going to get out of this and what's going to happen. And yet there's that sense that Jesus still comes to us and is with us, saying, peace be with you, because he is the one that brings us our hope and that joy, and that peace. So those were my reflections on that. Um, the other verses I was given were from Luke 23, and it's about the, um, the robber that was crucified with Jesus. Um, and again, it's that sense that God is in it with us. He was crucified along with um, a robber, and yet he said to him, you will be with me in paradise this day. And so um, no matter what trials we're going through, there is Jesus alongside with us. So I'm going to throw, I have a, I have a small poem here, um, but I'm actually going to leave that. Um, it, was, it was a poem that was written in response to um, the suffering that people see around the world. But I'm, and, and the theme of the poem is really about Jesus being with us and taking on that. Um, but I'm going to leave that. I think because sometimes it can impose someone else's creativity on, on the group. Um, so is there anything anybody else would like to reflect back before we before we go off and paint or write? Uh, well, I've just got breathe peace, you know, breathing, the idea of, um, the idea of Jesus breathing peace because he's kind of, he gave, he, he, he breathed, um, you know, breathed the Holy Spirit onto his disciples and gave him peace. Um, and also the idea of an uncertain future in isolation. I mean, um, <laughs> you know, that's where we are, isn't it? <laughs> yes. In our prayers in our church, on I mean, I did them, but I spoke about peace really, and um, about peace that this world doesn't give. And at the moment, there isn't any peace, I don't think, in people's hearts. Although we've had a message, what we can do this coming week, people are still worried about how that's going to happen, and we don't have peace. But 
the peace that Jesus gives is a peace which passes all understanding. And I think that's really important that we can know a different peace, the one that the world brings, because there'll never be peace in the world, will there? Mm. And um, I think Sarah will understand this because she's worked in terrible places, you know, uh, Yemen and Afghanistan. And when we were there, our house was actually bombed. And throughout it all, it's really strange that we actually knew a peace which, um, you know, we weren't scared of in that sense. And, uh, and when we were asked if we wanted to go home because of all the fighting that was going on, it never occurred to us. You know, we just felt that that was where God has called us and gave us that peace, which never known before, really. It's a, it's a deeper peace. It's, a, it's something which is settled in your mind, you know, that God is there for you. And uh, I think that's really important that we can know that peace. It's, it's hard to describe, really. It's an inner feeling, I think. And, and when the disciples, they seen Jesus crucified and all the rest of it, and every time he met them afterwards, his greeting was, peace be with you. And it just settled them, I think, that they knew that they were secure. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, it, uh, I, th I think just in response to, to that, Andy, that, that, that's all I mean, because I think that peace, um, particularly at this time, you know, that, you, that inexplainable peace we have in the midst of the world being chaotic, you know, that we are carriers of that peace as well. Yeah. And the peace is... Um, you know, it's a supernatural piece that we give and it. So, so in a sense, it's just so lovely to be in, in a peaceful state, even though the world's in chaos, but able to, to give that peace as we respond and react to yeah, other people yeah. around us and be yeah. carriers of that. On a similar note, it was verse 21 that struck me, which saying the same kind of thing, where Jesus says, peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I'm sending you. So it, it wasn't a peace in the hunkering down and staying safe and isolating themselves, but it was a peace to thrust them out. So even going out to the area where they were afraid, to what they were afraid of, that peace would accompany them in going out. Yeah. And that was, that was the point of it, not to be hunkered down and safe, but actually to get out. Yeah, okay. yeah really, really to add on to what Denise has just said, because it, it said, thought came to my mind at the same, same time. Um, you know, what occurs to me is that is that peace is often the result of having faith, and um, we we step out in faith, um, and often the result of that is that we have peace because we've trusted God, um, and God gives us gives us that peace and that courage. <coughs> to not be afraid um, and to and to move forward okay i think uh we've that there seems to be a common thread and uh and i'm i'm a little bit uncocked now because i had uh, the same prompting and um last week we had a series of meetings you know with uh with with our ministry group and all that and we realized that uh amongst this so-called seemingly locked down uh, is that now there's a whole wave of opportunity coming, you know, because we have migrant workers, you know, we have people, you know, in need and everything like that. But we realize that, uh, and right now there's a reports of actually one in four, you know, uh, UK Brits now turning and seeking religious uh, things, you know, where whereas before this lockdown, it was one in 30, you see. So now, even though everybody is locked down, there's a whole wave of opportunity see, of people coming and seeking the Lord. And even for, uh, and we realize that even because uh, even with people that are, are, are seemingly, you know, uh, uh, in low situations or something, the thing is that almost everybody has a smartphone nowadays. So even when they're in lockdown, you know, even for migrant workers and all that in Singapore, that they have a smartphone, you know, and during lockdown, they are just looking at it. You see, so so there is a need for artists, and there is a need for online materials and resources and all that. So there's a whole wave of opportunity that's coming now, even for even during this lockdown. So I I guess uh, when I read that verse, you know, uh, that I had the same prompting, you know, where it says Jesus says, "Peace be with you." Okay, that means despite all this that's happening, all right. Not be at peace, 
and as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. So, I guess I'm saying that, you know, perhaps it's, no, it's not a coincidence. There is no coincidence in, in God's world, everything, or that, you know, that we have you know, people that are not in, interested in the arts and coming out you know, with the arts and everything, or that, and yes, you know, uh, I, and, and it's great that all of you are coming out, you know, uh, and practicing your art, and, and yes, I'm sure we'll find opportunities to spread joy and encouragement or and spiritual guidance through the art you know, that you'll be producing. So if you're inspired by the sharing today, all right, uh, please you know, be encouraged with a bit of art you know, and, and put it on our Facebook site uh, to encourage others.